So I will be talking about differential association theory. So this theory was proposed by Edwin Zerland. He is an American sociologist and one of the most influential criminologists of the 20th century, known for the concept of white collar crime and differential association. So there are nine key principles that Sunland proposed. The first principle is that criminal behavior is learned. It is learned through interaction with other person in the process of communication. It is also learned from the closest groups such as families, friends, and etc. So when criminal behavior is learned, the learning includes techniques of committing the crime which are sometimes very complicated and sometimes quite simple. And some specific direction of motives, drives, visualization, and attitudes. So these are either pro o, or anti-crime, which is learning is directional. And whether someone becomes an offender will depend on the way he or pro or anti-criminal influences. So, this last three principles is learning experiences are different for each individual. The learning process for crime is no different for any other behavior. So, in this game, this is a game that we will come back to the idea of social learning, which we learn our behavior from others through observation. We just learn criminal behavior in the same way. And lastly, while criminal behavior is an expression of general needs and values, it is not explained by those needs and values. Since non criminal behavior is an expression of the same needs and values, Sutherland then, uh, so Sutherland said that general need is not enough or reason. Because, as he said, that there are plenty of people out there who is in need, like money and other resources who didn't turn into crime. So Saren said that it has to involve this learning process in order for someone to turn to offending behavior. That's all I can see. So containment theory was introduced by Walter Reckless, the Fishman American criminologist. So let us first understand what is the meaning of containment. So containment came from the root word contain, which means to hold someone or something from within. Parang pigilan mo yung nasa loob, your to control or restrain oneself or feeling. For example, yung galit mo and you are able to control it so hindi mo mailabas hindi ka makasuntok o hindi ka makapanakit that is containment yun yung uh, meaning ng containment now ano ba ang kinalaman ng containment theory so basically yun yung meaning ng containment right so containment theory it says here that it assumes or claims that there are social factors, external or internal or personal factors that affects or contributes a person's behavior. Siyempre, kasama na ang criminal behavior. So here, there are social factors that can insulate someone from committing a crime. Which means, this containment theory is saying that, um, for example, yung mga unpleasant emotion like being angry, pero malakas yung control mo, you are able to contain that emotion na hindi ka makagawa ng krimen, and that is insulation. Because of that, you are being um, protected from committing a crime. And that is the assumption or claim of containment theory. In containment theory, there are social factors, the external factor and the internal factor. The external factor is provided by the groups in society. 
the state, tribes and villages, family, and other nuclear groups of that manner. So, it is the outside uh, element of individual, like friends, law, family, social position. So, in external containment, <coughs> it develops by being into the approved by norms, values, and standard of society. So, second is uh, inner factors. So, for the inner factors to function correctly, one must have a very strong morals and ethics, must be very goal-oriented and focused, and have a well-developed ego and super-ego. So, those elements are psychological in nature, like conscience, positive self-image, and tolerance. So, in internal containment or inner inner containment the ability of a person to follow expected social norms and to direct to him or herself what's up guys my name is jumar is mandriquez so karun guys is akong itakil karun is ang uh, anumi theory so kanayang anumi theory is established ni siyang dua ka sociologist first is uh, emil durkheim and second is Robert Kimmerton. So, na nani sila kalay kalay yung about sa ka, sa ano may theory ang kay Emil Durkheim is ginakwan niya ang ano mi ano mi is a state of norm normlessness that may occur society if sol if solidarity is not pro properly formed. So accor according to Durkheim. Crime is a social construction that benefits society by certain behaviors, behaviors being rejected and labeled as crime. Society confirm that the acceptable norms and values of wider society in effect their game state crime increases social sol solidarity. So, there, guys. Ang ginapoint out ni Emil Durkheim daw, kay ang ano ni daw is the lack of normal ethical or social standards. So, dire, kaya niya ang kanang sa isa ka group of good, nga na, kay kana ang unsaong sa isa ka tao makipag-interact dito as a grupo. Kaya nga na, so niya para makipag-lubilogod sa, sa kato na grupo. So, kaya so, diri po, ginakuan po niya ang katong mga tao good na dili kabalo makipaghalubilo sa uban tao. Kanang gisla kabalo kung say unang buhaton para makipag-interact. Ano? So, kanit katong ako, like, like ako, akong giingang atong kaganiya, ano may is a state, is a state of norm, yes, nice. So, matong tao sa mga tao na dili kabalo makipag-interact sa uban tao. So, ang non-listness daw, guys, is lack of social regulation that leads to deviant behavior like suicide. Nga na. So, dire yung gina... Ang kay ML Durkin is gina... Kung natin yung katong mga tao na nag-suicide, good. Siya ang... Siya ang... Katang siya ang libro. Nga na. So, dire. Kay Dr. Robert Kimmerton na po... Ta... Kay Dr. Robert Kimmerton is... Lahat iya about sa cultural goals. So, kay Merton, nag-believe siya that a society shapes the cultural norms and values of people and also their aspirations and the approved methods of achieving mga goals sa isa katao. Ano? So, diri daw, ang people nag-engage nag in deviant behavior when they cannot achieve, achieve the goals. So, dira, so, dire, na ay two element kay kwan sa pag sa legitimate means. So, dire, ang first daw katong element is structural factors. So, ang structural factors is society, unequal, opportunity, structure. So, ang second is cultural factors. Kani, ang society is greater emphasis on success goal. 
over using legitimate means. So, legitimate means is to achieve them. Ano. So, dire. So, ang next is kato. What is ano me theory? In order to e to be able to cope with this pressure, individual recourse is made to one of the following five behavioral patterns. So, nada yung lima ka behavioral patterns. And so, guys, Tung kay Robert Camilton, nagkuha na siya na, nag-believe siya nung sa 5.1 review of patron sa isa katao. So guys, mara na siya guys. Hopefully, namoy na ito ang sa kuwang topic. Balag gamay lang. Mara to siya guys. And keep safe. And keep safe. Keep safe everyone. And God bless you all. Conformity. Acceptance of cultural goals and adaptation to social change. It means that a person he is changing his or her behavior in order to fit into a group of people. Example of this is a person who isn't playing computer games started playing in order to fit into a group of people who is playing games. Next is innovation. Acceptance of cultural goals, non-recognition of legal means to achieve goals. Example of this is a person wanted to buy a car but obtained the money from selling drugs. Third is ritualism. Lowering or abandoning cultural goals and maintaining means to achieve them. Example of this is a person doesn't aspire to be rich but continued working in order to live. Uh, when you say retreatism, rejection of cultural goals and legal means. So when you say rejection, so ikaw yung taong lumalabag sa ating batas. Like example, yung legal means. So ba example, yung gumagawa ka ng mga krimen na hindi pwede natin gawin so hindi dapat natin gawin so ik ikaw din yung isang isang taong gumagawa ng legal na bawal natin gawin dito sa ating bansa so next example guys so when you say retreatism a drug addict whose entire existence, uh, existence, uh, existence and focus on getting more drugs would be considered a retreat it is an alcoholic Alcoholic who is able to sustain a regular job and ends up homeless is another good example of retreatism. The attitude of being resigned of abandonment of an original goal or the means of attaining it. So that is rebellion, combating the objectives and the means to change social structures. According to Merton, people from lower social strata tend to resort to such means because they have fewer opportunities than higher strata to achieve cultural goals. So when you say uh, rebellion, combating those objectives and means to change social structures, structures, no? uh, this is an example of rebellion. Uh, an example of rebellion is a refusal by a large group of people to follow a law. So when you say follow a law, so uh, this is a sabotable. Uh, you need to be follow what is rule and regulations to uh, get a uh, binigay sa atin ng ating uh, government, uh, government, like sa mga police, uh, mga, mga police officers. No? So kailangan natin i-follow. Uh, huwag natin ilabag, ilabag kung anong binigay sa atin ng mga batas sa atin no? so, sundin talaga natin so ayun sa sinabi ni Merton uh, people from lower uh, social strata ten, uh, tend to resort to such means because they have fewer opportunities than higher higher no? uh, from lower to higher strata to achieve cultural goals so So when you say cultural goals, create an environment that respect the dignity of each client, and where opportunities are able to build skills, the core components of this continuum are relationships, no physical environment and skill building.